All right, well, this clarifies my suspicion, but today is bulk trash pickup day. We have a propane tank down there. We have a couch at the end. I drove by this grill yesterday and uh, the old van was kind of full. So what I did was I took out pretty much everything but this heavy grill. Oh, I better take out that grill. Anyway, it's gonna be a grill party. Um, but someone else has been here. And the reason why I can say that is because where the heck is the top to this? That, I don't know. Oh, this thing is heavy. No wonder he left it. I'm wondering why they would leave something that's heavy if you're scrapping you probably want to take the heavy stuff but those grills have a lot of dead space all right so they're heavy up top but they're really really light on the bottom it's that big open box sometimes the top of those are stainless that one I definitely knew was not stainless uh, however those things have a lot of dead space so if you're trying to pick up a lot of bulk Sometimes they're not worth it to pick those up. So someone took off the top, which is very compact, but we're doing trash picking, bulk pickup. Try to figure out if I made the right decision by coming in the morning as opposed to last night. We'll see. Trash pickup day. Let's get into it. We have some cardboard up there. We have a gaming chair. Do we have chairs out here and then I don't know if this is a toolbox what the heck is that oh it is a toolbox well screw the chairs oh wow that is freaking nice oh is this thing open oh it does open holy smokes oh does it close there we go wow that's like, I bet in the store those things are like 200 bucks. Somebody's gonna be like, no, they're 199. Oh, it's even got handles. Wow. I know I can easily get like 30 or 40 for it. Probably on Facebook Marketplace a little more. Hey, look, a picture frame. About the picture. That was not scrap. That is, that's gonna be uh, I don't think I really need one. Cause I have a bunch of those. I have the tall ones. But yeah, that's a good find. Do have some more stuff up here. We have a chair. Don't need a chair. That's like an ottoman. I don't know what we got going on over here. Let's, uh, let's run it back here. Actually, I really like this thing that was on the chair. Come back and grab that. Here we go again. Scrapper was out. There's probably no cord on this. Nope, no cord on that. So that confirms my suspicion. And I knew it was going to happen. I knew, uh, I knew other people would be out for scrap when I found that last piece that cobalt item um, there's actually three chairs across the street yesterday that's all ripped up it's kind of cool though it's all ripped up down there looks new made to look old but there were like three chairs and they were gone this I thought was really cool oh that's heavy Oh, 
Well, it's falling apart. If it wasn't so heavy, I would grab it. I'm just worried about if I can't sell it, my garbage men might not take it. Solid concrete, you know? I don't think I've ever seen a Christmas tree stand that's concrete. Chucks. That way I think about that for the rest of the day, but I've never sold a Christmas tree stand, but then again, I've never seen one that's concrete, so. Usually they're metal, they're red and green. That was a little different. Oh well. We'll figure something out. So I'm not gonna try to repeat myself today. It's actually cool looking. But up there, there was four chairs and a table. The only thing that's left is the table and somebody unscrewed the table. This is a trick here. Is it in there? No, it's not in there. It's missing. Oh, this is a heavy duty spreader. Does it work? Need some WD 40 on that right wheel, I think. Otherwise, you'll do this the whole day. Go around the circles. Kind of just made myself a little dizzy there. Yes, yeah, so I won't. I will never know if today was the right decision to go out the following morning because I don't know what I really missed yesterday. I know what I saw and it's not here anymore, which I made sure to grab, you know, like that steel weed whacker and a couple other random things. That weren't just strictly, you know, scrap metal. So I know like other things like chairs and whatnot, I might have missed because someone else grabbed them. But I don't know what else I missed that I just didn't see because no one had them out yet. Like there were chairs up here were actually, it's a bed frame. I got a bike up here. I think the, yeah, the chairs came from, or the chainsaw, weed whacker, I mean, mongoose came from where there's a hose reel up there. Finding a ton of bikes. I sold that really expensive bike. I know a lot of people were saying how how expensive that bike is and don't sell it cheap. I did not sell that bike cheap and I definitely didn't scrap it. I forgot what it was called. It wasn't like a Pougier or something. It was French. This ain't too bad. Bonkers. How do brakes work? Well, I got shot. Oh. Even with scrap up, I absolutely hate scrapping bikes. Because they're easily like a hundred to two hundred dollars at Walmart. And they're only worth about ten bucks in scrap right now. A lot of people can't really afford to go to Walmart and spend $200 on a bike that you use for two or three months a year. But yeah, there were a bunch of chairs here and I had uh, the weed whacker. Now there's a hose reel. These chairs were out here yesterday, but these are plastic. Oh. That's a garbage guy. I'm out here early. It's 5.30 in the morning, although it's not really that early. 5.30 is early enough. There's no traffic more chairs I hear another garbage truck very interesting oh these are cast aluminum I believe that's alright maybe not this is a magnet now they look like aluminum yeah they are no sticking on those. Let's grab this. Uh, beat the 
garbage truck. You ever wonder how those things work? That's how they work. Now determined if I go back and that Christmas tree stand is still there, I want to grab it. I think it was kind of cool. I've been still thinking about it. If it doesn't sell, maybe I'll bring it for like four weeks straight until it does sell. I don't think I can really scratch that. Let's see if I was smart, I would have had a towel I could put over it. Which I don't. It's kind of a neat little grill. some of the weight. Yeah, I don't think that'll really scratch if I put something on it. This thing is tiny. Good, isn't it? Yeah, if I go back there and that stand's still there, I think I gotta grab it. All right. The nice thing about YouTube and the bad thing about YouTube is either. <laughs> I just picked up something worth a ton of money and I just completely left it there for someone else to pick up and everyone's going to let me know about it or it's not worth anything and people are probably like why the heck did you go back for that but I will know it by reading the comments I don't know why this town doesn't do this more often the amount of like reusable and scrappable things that people have that they just can't get rid of that ends up being taken anyway is just insane. I actually sold the last cart I brought. So those big shopping carts, the uh, the number might be $10 on those now. I used to think they were easily five bucks. They might even be right there at $10. And the weird place I usually find them is in storage units. But uh, I think they're only like $25, $30 maybe at Walmart. Brand new old-fashioned chairs they looked very comfortable just like probably this mattress did at one time it looks like we got carpet up here on the right oh a whole stack of chairs oh those are really nice oh those are narrow oh we'll do something with them I say they're narrow because like even though I'm very slender might be the right term I don't know if I'd really want to sit in them And uh, these chairs usually only last me like two to three years. Uh, they're steel also. They're kind of heavy. In a perfect world, I could have just taken all four at one time and throw them in the van. strong just yet. Alright, hopefully hopefully that doesn't whack me in the head next time I open this door. Alright, well, we'll see if this thing whacks me in the face or not. I always have this dead area of space. I passed up, uh, there's an echo on there. Yeah, there's dead area of space like on the other side of this grill.
it's all right. Rotors are heavy. Uh, I passed up this grill yesterday that was insanely large. I, I couldn't do the flip trick on it. Flip it in here, that's how wide it was. And uh, it's still out there. It has not moved. Granted, if you can somehow move it, it's probably like $20, $25 in scrap. But unfortunately, I've said a million times, I'm not that strong. It'd be perfect. 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 If you had a uh, trailer, because you could probably just wheel it right onto a trailer. But once you have to start getting on top of a truck or a van, forget it. Ironically, I need one of these. Kind of, this might be the electric one, which would be nice. Sure looks like electric to me. Oh yeah, duh. Let's see if it works. I do not want to go out and spend two hundred, three hundred dollars on one that I'll probably use for like two hours. And I didn't want to get a gas one because I knew I think wasn't gonna. They won't start again in two years. So we'll see if it works. All right, we're kind of getting down to the end of this uh, this day. Now, I will be back for a another bolt pickup. As most of you know by now, if you've been following long enough, this town divides itself into a bunch of different so-called districts. So garbage pickup in this town is actually on three, three different days. And since that's the case, I don't know if I'll make one more video or I'll combine two days and make one more video. I guess I'll determine about how much stuff we find. So Bolt pickup, awesome day again. I've seen an insane amount of couches. Well, these people are selling their house. Couches. Huh. That's the guy who I uh, paid him $20 for like a box lot of antiques at one garbage interval. That was a long time ago. That's back in my first van. Ah, the good old days that weren't that good. Door. Looks like we also might have, um, looks like an imitation fireplace. Might even be a entertainment center. One metal day, because they do this metal day also here in this town. One metal day, this guy, there's a chair there. Plastic. He threw away, or I guess he tried to throw away, a legitimate la riding lawnmower. And I have no clue if they take took that because I don't know how the heck you lift a riding lawnmower into a garbage truck. But he threw it out. Who knows if it actually went anywhere. Some stuff up here on the left. Probably another couch or a chair. That's wood. Hey look, a couch. And then a chair and a chair. All right, well, kind of finished a bolt pickup. I decided to swing through town, see if anyone left anything out for trash. Thought I saw, yep, I did see that. I'm not losing it. It 
must be like the week of bolt just out. Commissioner up here or not. So I will go ahead and take a look. I think it is. How's it going? Oh, still works? Oh, perfect. I needed one. <laughs> Thank you. to end this video with this. One of the world's smallest grills. <laughs> Kinda cool. All right, so another awesome day. Bulk garbage pickup. Found a bunch of metal, but we found a bunch of other things as well. So some of this stuff I'm gonna have to take out. For example, this uh, this guy right here. So I don't know if this is gonna this is gonna work. Of course, it's all tangled up in here. Exit all tangled up. Oh, it's inside the groove there. So I guess I'll figure out how this thing operates. I haven't used a pressure washer probably in. Well, I don't think I've ever even used a pressure washer. I've seen people use pressure washers, but I don't think I've ever actually... Eh, maybe I have. I don't think I've ever done it, like, by myself. It's more like my dad might have been like, Oh, yeah, here, pressure washer that, and do that. And I just grabbed it and just used it. Well, it was already plugged in. Hose is all set up. So we will see how this goes. But it's actually got some weight to it for something that's electric. Uh, the unfortunate thing about living in one of these old houses is you kind of have to repaint all the wood quite often uh, because it's old wood it has moisture in it, it has this it has that the weather the elements it is not like a house where you have vinyl siding so there is an incredible amount of maintenance that goes into it and it's almost like i paint the house with primer i do the primer first then paint it uh, i probably do it three times every 10 years it is not a fun and enjoyable experience dealing with wasps and those carpenter bees and all sorts of fun creatures and whatnot, but it has to be done. So this year I think I'm gonna pressure wash it first rather than scrape it. And hopefully that thing will do it. Uh, speaking of old houses, more metal back there. The other issue of old houses is there's no central air. So I rely on air conditioners like that which apparently that one does work and i've never had one in my spare bedroom and whenever anyone's come over during the uh the summer months especially the really hot summer months they seem to sleep a little bit uncomfortably in fact if you guys ever wonder what the temperature is inside the house generally speaking when it's about like 85 90 degrees out the inside of the house gets to about 84 not including the rooms where there's ac but you know like the kitchen the hallway the bathrooms it's about 84 degrees in there. So I only have like one air conditioner in my room and then one air conditioner in my living room. Uh, I can't have 15, 20 air conditioners, uh, but that's a problem with an old house. You don't have central air. So for that example, it's going to be 84 degrees in pretty much every other room if it's 90 degrees outside. So yes, on those very hot days where it's like 95 to 100, yes, it's about 90 degrees inside the house. It's not an enjoyable sleep, similar to the winter when it's like 20 degrees outside, the heat just can't keep up. Problems of an old house. You like the characteristics, you like this, it is what it is. But anyway, that will go into my spare bedroom. Got myself an aluminum ladder. And I thought I grabbed something else that I threw over there. Oh, no, this thing. Uh, very cool cobalt. Kind of like a tool cabinet. That is awesome. Uh, I think they're like really high tech. These are actually supposed to go back. Like, they don't. They kind of do. 
slowly but surely closing itself. So it's probably been used a little bit too much, and that's why they don't do what they're supposed to do. But uh, that will be kept. This will be kept. The pressure washer will be kept. And I went back and grabbed this. I thought it was kind of cool. It looks like, doesn't look like a Christmas tree stand with an actual, like, looks like it's supposed to belong into a forest. I don't know. It's kind of different. You know, you don't really see a lot of stuff like that. And uh, although, yes, it is concrete. And I do really well with selling concrete stuff, so don't get me wrong with that. Statues, figurines, uh, lawn art. Sells very, very well. However, I've never sold a tree stand in metal or plastic ever in my entire life. And I've picked up maybe 20 or 25 of them. And I think, oh, this one's a little bit different. I don't think I ever sold one. So, yes, it's concrete. I've never seen one like that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button. If you want to see more treasure hunts just like this, have it already. Subscribe down below and check out my trash picking playlist. Over 600 episodes of trash picking, the most on YouTube. So sit down, binge watch a bunch. We found a ton of things in the past and a lot of cool things in the past. So catch you guys next time. Next adventure, who knows what we'll get into. It'll be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.